seems like uh, this is the, the town center or county center and it's got a lot of shops but if you take a look these uh, street shops or these uh, like Meng Mian Zhao Zhu like Zhen Qi Chu Zhu Meng Mian Chu Zhu means they are looking for the next renter or uh, the, the next tenant to you know bring back the business okay so the so yi gu hui he uh these are the shops to sell so you how to after you that you know you put your your ashes in a box they are selling these boxes some local snacks about the uh, about the team like selling steamed dumplings I'm not going to be eating here. Oh, the bad thing is the rain is getting heavier and heavier. It's not really a good day to just uh, come out and uh, film on the street. But you know, <laughs> I have to align my schedule with the Vero with my wife, so I've got two days off, so I'm free to come to film. And uh, there's a bell tower maybe in front of us, the European style. <laughs> the, the, chi the Chinese localized the European style. That building is kind of lame. Uh, I don't think it's built in a good quality. And uh, all these buildings are like along the street. They are actually built pretty decent, but I think uh, it is now repainting the surface of the wall. Nice, because you know these buildings are quite different as the usual concrete boxes residential buildings. These are in a different shape. If it's different, it's nice, right? The living style here in this town is quite slow. You know, it's not like a super busy place. Actually, this is a quite small place. Uh, this, I don't see like a big shopping mall until now. Maybe there is one. I'm not really sure how far I should go. You have to rely on the scooter basically to explore this place. Guys, this is not an easy job, right? It's not an easy job. Uh, it's actually not in a big city, uh, a small city like this. Usually in the big city, it's good because you can rely on a scooter. But I don't have raining clothes with me, so maybe it's better just uh, take a walk. But I'm always enthusiastic, right, to film the small places, because uh, as I mentioned before, the small places are quite interesting for everyone on YouTube, basically. Because um, YouTube has certain footages, levels of uh, you know, of China, but uh, it's not covered a lot of places outside of the mega cities. You got you got videos about Shanghai. You got videos Shanghai specifically. What what I should say is specifically only in the downtown area or nice shopping centers or the bonds. You know, Fudong. Blue CBD area, or Disneyland. Look, China got a Disneyland, this kind of things, right? And uh, if you check out Beijing, Beijing is always the Great Walls and the, the Summer Palace, the Forbidden City. I'm not saying these are good, but I'm, I'm not saying these are not good. These are actually very interesting. I will try my best to cover these in my videos, but I also want to explore places like this, you know slow lifestyle, almost uh, low population density, right?
and uh, these are very typical third or this is almost like fourth tier city which is not always mentioned uh, you know in a lot of uh, foreign expert vloggers usually now you no know, usually before you got foreigners or foreign expats uh, they live in China right they reside in China and uh, those guys have plenty of time to explore China but since the COVID lockdown I think a lot of them had left China for quite a long time years ago now it's not very often that you can see this uh, kind of content right okay. now you see um, travel vloggers but uh, but usually those uh, people hunting country from one place to another mostly Southeast Asia and uh, China as well oh. Walk on to the bridge or something. Let's look at this bridge. Oh, nice. Although uh, it's not a scenic spot, but I think uh, this is a branch river of the, the Yangtze River. If it's not raining, maybe it's much better, right? I think the tour in Huangchao in Jiangsu province is done. To be honest, I don't really know where I am. It's a local residential place, and you've got this uh, half red, half white buildings just in front of me. And uh, yeah, although it's a bad weather, it's a little bit raining. Actually, it, it was heavy raining. But I'm quite happy that uh, China Uncle Mikey can come back to the road and to continue my journey to explore China. This is what I really love to see because, uh, you know, to film uh, on the road uh, in a trip, it's really a tough, tough job, to be honest. Uh, look at me. Uh, had all these gadgets right that I'm bringing and uh, an umbrella so yeah I'll maybe go to some other residential alleyways if I can if I see any when I walk back to the, the parking lot I will film a little bit but otherwise I'll see you guys in Taizhou Taizhou is the main target for this tour yeah cheers from the main street let's see if the back head is Ah, okay to walk through. Oh, it's a quite dirty place. Some very old building, almost a collapse. Ah, maybe it's not a good place to walk through. Oh, I think these this residential little alleys are quite usual, as well as in Shanghai. Just the concrete buildings. Now it's a dead end. Well, I have to go back to that direction then. It's a it's wrong direction. Anyway, I'm trying to find a way out. Maybe here. When I was young, when Shanghai wasn't developed during the 80s, these little alleys are everywhere in, in Shanghai as well. <laughs> Actually, if you look at the, the concrete ground, it's definitely rebuilt. It. It's better than before, maybe. Let's see if we can walk. Yes. These buildings are quite old. Maybe grannies, some senior level uh, aged people are still living here. I'm pretty sure the young generation they wouldn't like to stay in this uh, place. Okay. 
this is all this building i think it's already demolished wow oh my god okay air conditioner outside of the wall oh sad. but it's <laughs> i'm still talkative <laughs> i still have the words to to talk a little bit after I had a rest for a long long time no i'm not able to get out maybe get out from here so today i'm doing everything on foot see what i mean in china people love to hand out their clothes you know outside because i think most of the homes they don't use the dryers not like in the nordic countries maybe it is because in the nordic countries it's too cold outside right you go to spain you will see people hanging out their clothes <sighs> yeah this old grandpa Grandpa is looking for a toilet. What is this place? Well, they plant some beautiful flowers here. Pretty nice. The riverside. Uh, I think it's walk, walking pedestrian for the people to walk around the riverside. Yes, but nobody is going to walk here. And uh, this is the river. I don't know the the name of the river. But this is definitely close to Changjiang, right? Uh, Yangtze River. Uh, the, the, the water isn't very clean, uh, as expected, but it's not polluted, right? Okay, so let's go back to the, the road. Red building, it's called the Hualai uh, Shi Fried Chicken or something. It's very interesting, but you don't see uh, the fast, uh, fast food chain <laughs> under that building. Uh, I don't even see the entrance, maybe just the advertisement. On my way back to continue the trip, I found this temple. It's called Fu Hui Chan Si. It seems like uh, this is a local Huangqiao temple. Obviously, this is not a popular temple. 